What is going on, my fellow gaming warriors? Optic Scump, Scumpy, the legend himself, the Call of Duty GOAT, has announced his retirement. And the reason why is, you guessed it, Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, or, you know, as many of you call it, Modern Warfare 2, but I call it Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, your skip. The reason why he retired is because this game, MW2, is the worst Call of Duty of all time. The game is so bad, it is in such a bad state that it made the GOAT, the GOAT himself, Optic Scump, it made him retire earlier than he expected. And uh, look, I just want to, the whole commotion regarding this whole thing is uh, going back to Charlie Intel's tweet here. New data mining information suggests Season 2 of Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 year skip in Warzone 2 begins February 15th, not February 1st. Seems like the new season may be delayed. No official announcement yet from Activision. And, uh, obviously, as you know, there, it's just, this is the, the main topic right now. It's just, the game is in such a horrible state. Activision is under fire. Infinity Ward, Infinity Psych Ward, Infinity Turd, whatever you want to call them. The worst Call of Duty development team. They are under fire. They are under fire like never before. Call of Duty has never been in a, in a worse state that I have ever seen in my life. Like, I have never seen it get this bad. I've seen people say they'd rather play Infinite Warfare. And you know what? I wouldn't be opposed to it. I really wouldn't. And I hated that game. And I still do. And I hate all the Jetpack CODs to begin with. But I would literally play any Jetpack COD. Easily. And I hated all of them. But I would easily rather play any Jetpack COD over Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 or skip. You know, when it comes to skill-based matchmaking. The lack of content. The lack of communication from the devs. 3,000 devs in 3 years. I know that's like the like the meme or popular thing to say but it, it's true Th really you had 3,000 people with over three years to make this game and nothing it's funny how it's called modern warfare roman numeral two your skip and there's a li there's there's literally like zero maps from the original mw2 like it's supposed to be sort of a a tribute or they're they're leeching off of the title but it has an absolutely nothing to do with the game other than some old characters like Ghost and, you know, all those guys. Yeah, let me just show you some, uh, some tweets here. Skizalax, he said, Rumor, Season 2 is delayed. You're telling me 3 years and 3,000 devs can't release 2 maps in every 2 months. Call of Duty is down bad, man. 100% agree. And uh, this, this is something, Charlie Intel, like, you know something's going on when all the shills are, are, this is, br this is bringing the entire Call of Duty community together. It really is. And I want I want to talk about that in, an, in another separate vid, but um, it, it's true. Like even Charlie Intel is hitting on it. Like I mean, again, it's common sense. It's not something like, "Wow, you're a genius!" Wow, Charlie Intel, he he is smart. Like no, he's really he's he's not smart. He just got he's he's seeing, he's looking, and he's seeing, and he's telling it how it is. Like it's not he's not a genius for it. And I've been saying this for months. I've been saying this for years. All this all this stuff that's coming out now, like. I mean, uh, regarding Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 or skip, obviously that's... I've been saying it for months, not years, because the game hasn't even been in development for that long, right? Or actually it has been, but you know what I mean. In terms of when, when we started talking about the game, when we saw any footage from the game, it's been months. But Charlie Intel says, Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 or skip forcing Scump to retire early. That's crazy. <laughs> I, again, look, I, I don't mean to say I told you so, but I told you so. I made a video about... I don't know, about a month or two ago, and it is literally titled MW2. This is when Scump originally announced when he was going to retire, you know, before the, the CDL tournaments and all that, his last his last hoorah. But, um, yeah, this is before the send-off. But he, when he originally said that he's retiring, when he announced it, um, and even that got a whole lot of attention, I literally said, this is the title, MW2 is so bad... It made Scump retire. Huh. So why the hell is everyone jumping on the bandwagon now? Everyone, I, I swear, I feel like no one was saying this two months ago. All of a sudden, everyone's on board. Oh, yeah, I know. Hey, Charlie Intel saying it, and I must be, it must be true. Big Swag is saying it, it must be true now. Like, no one was saying this. It just goes to show that everyone follows the herd, it seems like, especially with the Call of Duty community. I have been saying this, plenty of us, not just me. But guys like Blame Truth, 4 or 2 Thunder, uh, Nero Cinema, Nero Cinema has been, I don't know, I don't know. 
he's been weird with Modern Warfare and Roman numeral two years get Nero Cinema. I swear he loves this game. I really do. Other than other than the lack of content, he I have only heard positive things from him about this game, and I, I that's why I literally couldn't listen to his videos because I'm like, are you trying to get a creator code or something? You know, I mean, I do I do I respect Nero Cinema obviously, and uh, he's a good he's you know he's a good content creator when it comes to YouTube, and I give him the thumbs up, but I just couldn't, I couldn't watch or listen to any of his videos since Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 Year Skip came out. Even the beta, he was saying positive things. I'm like, dude, what game are you playing? I'm, it seems like we're playing a completely different game when it comes to skill-based matchmaking, the horrible maps, the, like, I don't know. It's just, there's nothing about Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 Year Skip that interests me. But now on to the gaming revolution. Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 Year Skip Season 1 has been the worst Call of Duty season of all time. Not sure what happened when this game had so much dev time and a huge launch, yet the post-launch content has been so minimal. <laughs> it like, what, why, how are you just finding, it, it, it makes me laugh, it really does. It makes me, it makes me mad and it makes me happy and laugh at the same time. It's kind of mixed feelings here. But how are you just figuring this out? How the hell are you just figuring this out? I have been saying this, plenty of us have been saying this, Apparently not enough, because, <laughs> like, people complain, Oh, you're just too negative about the game! But you're saying the exact same thing a month later. So, I, like, you guys are hypocrites. I, I, I'm not talking to you guys, obviously. I mean, most of you have been have been around here for a while, have been supporting me and agreeing with me for, for months now on this. So, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to all the content creators, the frauds out there, who have been, you know, calling out, you know, not uh, not me personally, but people like me, you know, like Blame Truth and all these people who call out Call of Duty for what it is, telling the truth, whether it's negative or not. And they say, oh, you're just too negative about the game. You just, you just want to get views for, you know, for your negativity. But if I felt something else was the truth and I felt like the game was good, I would tell you guys, like I told you, Cold War. I'm pretty positive about Cold War, especially after what we've gotten after freaking Vanguard and then this game is even worse. Worse than Vanguard. And we all know the backlash that Vanguard got. <laughs> That's for sure. But I, I want to keep this going here. Only two remastered maps that were in the last MW game anyways. Modern Warfare game. For over three months is insane. Yes, like I said, dude, I've been saying this. How are you surprised? How are you? How is anyone surprised at this point? We have been saying this for, since the game, before the game was even, I mean, before it was even in beta. Did you honestly think that the devs were going to work like at all? Did you think they were going to work? Did you think they were going to actually listen to you? No. And you keep holding out for them. And you keep buying the damn games. Stop it. Stop giving into it. Can't you see that they're trying to freaking scam you? Or they, they have scammed, you know, most people probably. But I feel like more people than not are really waking up to this. I don't hate Call of Duty. I hate the games nowadays. But I, I hate what it's become. But I don't hate the franchise at its core. You know what I mean? Just because of, you know, the old days. But, um... Yeah, MW2 OG, here we go again. Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 year skip should have been a love letter to MW2. That game was a cultural phenomenon and has many of the most iconic maps, weapons, killstreaks, and so on of the COD series. It's as if they just wanted the name for sales but didn't want it to be anything like the OG. Again, why are you just waking up to this? Obviously, they're using the name just to freaking market it. Like, it, If you honestly believe that this game was going to be anything like the old one, the original MW2, I don't know what to tell you. You must have been smoking something, and I want some of it. Because that must have been, you must have been feeling real good. You must have been feeling freaking numb. But yeah, I also put up a poll for you guys, as I usually do. And uh, I said, you know, dear my fellow gaming warriors, all you fellow gaming warriors out there, how do you feel about Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 year skip, season 2, getting delayed for an extra two weeks? And, uh, you know, I gave the options. It's laughable. You know, you're just laughing it off at this point. You don't, don't really care. Or you're pissed off. You're still pissed off. Or you don't care, you already quit the game, which seems to be you're laughing at it. Or you already quit it, or both, seems like. But unfortunately, there is one paste eater, at least one. I don't know who you are, hope you're trolling, but... But yeah, I just want to end this off here saying uh, thank you to Skump. You know, I, I want to end it off with a shout out to him. Thank you to Skump for changing the game on YouTube, you know, for all the content creators, paving the way for a lot of content creators. You're the greatest Call of Duty player of all time, 100%. And uh, we'll always remember you as, you know, all the, the sweat band in games on Black Ops 2, whatever games, MW2, MW, you know, all those OG games. 
I'll always remember you for that. And you'll continue to do that. I got faith in you for the, the content that you're going to bring forth in the future. So, um, yeah, I, I just want to say thank you for all that you've done and that, that you will continue to do away from the CDL scene. I, I, I honestly didn't really care about the CDL scene. I'm just going to be honest, but I appreciate what Scump has done for the Call of Duty community, especially on YouTube. It's been, you know, really big impact. So, uh, thank you. I just want to end it there with that. And, uh, yeah, comment what you guys think of this. I mean, are you... <laughs> What do you think about Season 2 getting delayed for another two weeks? And probably there's going to be no content in Season 2. Let's not leave that part out. <laughs> it's a freaking joke, guys. Thank you all for the continuous support. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm a sensational. It's been one.